Hello my friends, I wanna go ahead and show you how to make an umbrella holder today. So we got an umbrella, I wanna go ahead and take this right here. I have two different buckets here. I have a really nice drill to mix concrete with, but unfortunately I don't know where the bit is, so I'm just gonna to have to do mixing it by hand. So what I wanna do is I wanna take, there's a couple of different ways to do it. You can pour the concrete in the bucket around here, just so, uh, like so, um, and just kind of hold it down, or you can just take something on the end, like a bag or something, just shove it down, okay? We wanna go ahead and fill this with concrete. I wanna mix the concrete in here and pour it in there. And then I want to have this pole right here. And then the umbrella pole should slide into this pole. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I have an 80 pound, 80 pound bag of concrete right here. And so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing this up and putting it in here. And I do have a level, I, I wanna make sure it's level. And just for some reason, for some people it might not work because of high wind conditions or whatever. <clears throat> if it for some reason doesn't work, I wanna go ahead, like I can even do this when it's done. I'm just gonna take a bigger container and make a concrete, like go around it and for a bigger. But we'll see if I need it. I wanna try the bucket first. So let's go ahead and get to work. And please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Please enjoy. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and uh, add some, a little bit of concrete in here, a little bit of water, not too much. And I wanna go ahead and get the right mixture, then pour it in here. My wife, uh, what she wants to do is go ahead and like cut this off, like break the bucket off once it's done. And she wants to like paint it and make it look pretty. So it's kind of important that as I do it, the concrete, it goes, like when you're filling this with concrete, you might want to like hit the sides of the hammer and stuff, um, because if you don't do it, it may, uh, like it may not be smooth. And she wants it to be pretty when it's done. So the bucket is not really pretty, but she's an artist and she can paint the concrete and make it look good. So let's go ahead and uh, start mixing the concrete. So you can kind of see what I'm going for is I don't, see there's like a little dry patch right here. You might not be able to see it, but you want a nice mixture, not too watery. This is just like a little, um, like I think it was like an emergency boat paddle. I think it was on clearance. It might've cost like a dollar fifty five thing. This is not how I normally like to mix concrete. Normally I like to use a drill with like a big mixer thing, but I'm gonna go in. This actually is not bad though. It's really not a bad way to do it. But you can see that looks like a pretty good consistency um, right there. So I wanna go ahead and pour it in and keep mixing. All right, here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, she's gonna hold that here. We just got the little bag, we got a rubber band. I could just hold it in here, I don't have to have that, but there we go, that's another way to do it. We wanna get that centered in the middle. I do have a level nearby, you got that. I just wanna go ahead and pour this in, then I wanna go ahead and mix up some more, but this should go ahead and start the process. Oh. Now what may happen when you're dumping concrete from like one bucket to another is you might notice that even though you thought you would mix it really good, there might be some way down in there that's not quite done as much as you thought it was. And that's not really a big deal because you can just go ahead and mix some more on top of it. So here we go. We're not really happy with where it's at now. We just want it to be right in the middle. And then we're going to go ahead. I might just lean that here just to, um, now let's go ahead and keep mixing some more concrete. I got some stuff on my face. I was just really emotional. It was so touching work with concrete, I was crying. No, I actually got concrete on my face, I'd rinse it off. Okay, so I have a level here. Um, here we go right here. Now, some people might be like, it's too long. That's, you know what, cool. You can always just go ahead and cut it off later. I gotta start right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and try and let this dry, but it's, what's really important is a couple things. One is you wanna make sure that it's really level, just like this, take a level, and you can check where, if it's level. You may wanna have this kind of secured. And then another thing is you may wanna take a hammer and just kind of go like this. Can I see? Like just kind of tap the bottom, just like so, just to help the concrete go all the way, like make sure it's not like all rough. Sometimes if you may, you may see a house and the foundation, it's like these chunks out of it. That's probably because when that person, when they did the foundation, they're pouring it, the person didn't go around with the hammer and tap the form boards. Just wanna kind of go ahead and just kind of tap it out. Be careful, it might flick. Don't let this stuff fly out at you. And just kind of tap it like so. A rubber mallet might work as well, but you, the concrete might want to fling out in your face. Just be careful. Um, so that's probably good. So that's gonna. What I intend to do is, if this, like, if for some reason doesn't work for our area, this might work for many people. But then I just want to probably put it into a bigger container and put concrete around it. But this should probably work. So what we have is we have the umbrella, and then we just want to slide the umbrella like right down into it. I don't want to do it right now. 
and it's like got dirty stuff on it. But I want to go ahead and be able to slide it right down into it, just like so. Actually, let me just rinse it off and show them. So, you got the umbrella. And basically, I could just kind of slide it in like so. See that? So it's removable. Um, you can do it. So you could just put like the middle part in, but then what happens is it may be stuck and you may not want to be stuck with this. You might want to be able to switch out different umbrellas or whatever. So if it's the same size, hopefully she'll be able to. So I'm going to have to let this sit and dry for probably a couple days or so. And then she wants to break this off and later paint it. So <clears throat> um, we'll see what happens to that. Let me know what you think. Love y'all. You're amazing. Please sub to our notifications. Thank y'all so much. Bye.